Konnichiwa. You are watching day nine of the Squishing It Challenge. In the words of the great Robert Smith, Monday, you can fall apart. Tuesday, Wednesday, break my heart. Thursday doesn't even start. It's Friday, I'm in love. And that means it's Financial Friday. When it comes to finances, an idea or a practice that I'm in love with is the idea of paying yourself first. My friend Sean made a video recently about the 50-30-20 budgeting method. And that deals with how you deal with your income or basically how you allocate or budget your income. In that method, you take 20% and you save it and keep it for yourself first. Whatever budgeting method you use, I encourage you to pay yourself first as a habit, no matter what, and to make it automatic if you can, so you don't even have to think about it. Over time, it'll just be like a, just an afterthought. You won't even notice that the money is gone, but it's growing and it's working in your favor whether you're working or not. What I do, or what I believe, is that everyone should be able to save at least 10% of their income, the first 10% towards an investment that will provide income for the future. I like dividend stocks or investments that pay an income such as bonds and dividends or dividend funds. Personally, that's what I like. I think the best investment actually in this case is real estate. A lot of the richest people have real estate and it gets very, very favorable tax treatment. So I'm not there yet where I'm buying real estate yet, but I'm saving up for sure. But currently I'll buy a lot of dividend stocks with that 10%. And what I actually do is I take 20%, invest that in income for my future, Correct, and that's income whether I'm working or not, no matter what's happening. And then I take the next 10% and I put that towards something fun. Currently, that's my Japan fund because I'm saving for a vacation in Japan. So I have my Japan fund, 10%, 20% towards investments. And I just love the idea of buying income. You really want your money to, uh, to multiply. Um, an analogy would be like you want your money to go on a few awkward first dates, fall in love, and then make cute little money babies for you whether you're working or not. Because you don't want to always be trading your time for money. You really want to take their time out of the equation and have your money work for you. Thank you for watching day nine of the Squishing Ed Challenge and sayonara.